One of the reasons I love my job is I have the privilege of going around North America, Europe, Latin America, Asia Pacific, uh, the Mideast, and really trying to figure out what's happening in the field of human resources today. What a great opportunity. And I'm so grateful for literally thousands of HR professionals who teach me far more than I teach them. But as I go around, one of the things I'm running into is a very common challenge. Let me frame it with a question. And if you're thinking about what's happening in the field of HR in a nutshell, think about this question. What's the biggest challenge I face in my job today? As an HR person, what's the biggest challenge I face in my job today? When I run workshops and seminars, I often begin with that question. And here's what I often hear. I am struggling to gain credibility. I am struggling to get access to the senior manager. I'm struggling with talent. We're trying to find good people. This war for talent is continuing no matter what the economic cycle is. I'm trying to redefine an HR practice to do better training, to do better compensation, to do better work redesign. I'm trying to redefine communications. I'm trying to restructure the HR department. Whatever you put on your list. As I've thought about that list, what I've begun to discover is that there's four circles. And in HR, we're beginning to move from the third circle to the top circle and the bottom circle. Now, let me go through the, the third circle. One, two, three, four. Third circle is what I call HR. In tradition, when we've thought about HR and what our challenge is, it's related to HR. Either gaining personal credibility, either doing an HR practice better, or finding some way in HR to do what we do and to do it well. I think for years that was the right model. And we'd see models of HR that would say it's staffing, training, compensation, communication, and that's what HR is about. I think we in recent years have moved up to the second circle. The second circle is strategy. What we're now doing is moving what we're doing to accomplish and deliver against a business strategy. Here's the question you ask yourself. What's the biggest challenge in my job today? Talent, compensation, credibility. Use a two-word phrase, so that. So that moves me to the business level. And it moves me to the business level so that I can deliver business value. That means meeting the financial goals, meeting the customer goals, delivering a business value that helps us be successful. And in the last decade in HR, I think we've tried to go from activity to the outcome connected to the business. In the recent economic crisis and in recent years with demographics and technology and globalization and economic uncertainty, I think we now move to a top circle, which I'm simply going to call context. The context are some of the economic conditions. We face regulation, we face inflation, we face deflation, we face technology changes, we face industry changes, we face demographic changes. Now we're beginning to say HR is not just linked to the strategy, but it's linked to the external world. In the legacy world, we'd say strategy is a mirror. And when I do HR, I look in the mirror of strategy and I do my HR work. Now we're saying look through the mirror to the external context. How will my HR work be used so that not just strategy happens, but so that we respond to new customer expectations. We anticipate regulatory changes. We come up with ways to respond to technology. We adapt to demographics. And when HR is linked to the context, we're going to be more able to be successful. HR has gone through three circles. The first circle is HR activity. What am I trying to do in my job today? I'm trying to do HR work. So that, second circle, we can deliver strategy. So that we can respond to the external challenges we face. Now the fourth circle at the bottom is the one that I've been intrigued with lately. In the world in which we live, because HR has to go from activity to strategy to context, we are feeling more demand than we've ever felt. Almost every HR professional I know is saying, my job is tougher today than ever. I have to do more with less. I have to be more productive. I have to help my company manage change faster. And in HR, we are often on the front lines of that change. In a growth economy, we're pushed to find people to do work in China, in India, in Vietnam. In a down economy, we're the face-to-face -face person at taking out headcount, at managing costs. All of that bears an emotional burden. The fourth circle is giving care to the caregiver. We in HR are the caregivers of our company. We're the ones who have to have the heart and the soul that helps our company manage that value chain. And we need to take care of ourselves to make that happen.
in some of the recent thinking we've been doing is how do we in HR have the resources to provide help with the demands that we're facing? When we have resources to respond to those demands, we'll be successful. And that's what we need to be able to build. So what's the biggest challenge in my job today? Circle three, to do good HR work to be credible, to build good practices, to build good HR organization, so that I build a business strategy and help the strategy happen, so that in the world we live in, we respond and we adapt well. Because of going down to the fourth circle, I have managed my emotional well-being. I've taken care of myself, and I'm fit and able to be a successful HR professional. When we see the lineup of those four circles, I think we're going to be more successful in the work that we do.